Welcome back everyone. I'm Jason and you're watching Jason Jensen Trains. Recently I put out my fourth HO scale kit. It is called JJ's Coffee House. Uh, let me put some images up on the screen for those of you who haven't seen it. Okay, now don't let the size fool you on this kit. It does take a while to build, as you'll see in today's video. Now, the kit is currently available on my website at jasonjensentrains.com. So you can go purchase the kit and then follow along with the video and we can build it together. All right, well, let's get to it. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is cut our wall sections out so that we can brace them. Uh, for the bracing, I'm using 1 8 inch thick strip wood that's square and it's marked with red on the end. This is the back wall. We're going to brace it with three pieces. They go all the way from the top to the bottom. And we're going to glue the end pieces all the way to the edge and then put one in the center. Now for the front wall, you're going to want to cut out this piece out of the task board. So we're going to flip this over and we want to make sure that our bracing goes all the way to the top of the white piece. And we can even do a third one right here next to the door. Then we want to cut out this small piece and this one. So again, we're going to flip these over and we're going to put our bracing to the top edge of that white. After I get these all glued in place, I'll um, give you a closer look. Now these don't get glued all the way to the edge. They're an eighth of an inch uh, from the edge of the wall. Again, I'll give you a closer look after I get them glued in place. Now we don't want to glue the white pieces on yet. So make sure you don't put your glue all the way to the top. You can see how they stick up. So when we eventually glue this on, we can glue it to that. And that's going to be same for the front wall. Okay, the bracing is all glued, and I'll just go over it quick with you. There is the end wall, an eighth inch in on both sides from the edge, and it has to go high enough for the white section. The other one is exactly the same. The back wall, all the way, the full height, and three pieces. The front wall, three pieces, go all the way to the edge and have it extend up to allow for the white piece. To stain our walls, I'm using Marine Teak from Best. And the web address is right there. As you can see, I'm going very thin. Always go thin with the stain. If you want it to be darker, you can put another coat over it when it dries. Okay, next we're going to paint our walls. The top part is going to be red, and the bottom part is going to be yellow. And I'll show you in a second how to mask this. So you're going to go right below the window. I'll show you this one. So even with the bottom of the window. Now be careful when you mask this back wall because remember it's taller than the front wall. So just make sure maybe you count the clapboards or just take a ruler and measure from the bottom up so that it matches up. Okay, now we're gonna take French wine 
Okay, our red is done. We'll set those aside. Now, take this piece, it's thick, and these two, same thickness. We're going to take light buttermilk, any off-white will do. And we're not painting the entire thing, we're just painting the uh, top portion of it. And you want to make sure that you get the inside. Very important that you get the inside. Same with the, the uh, top edge here. So it's basically just the triangle shape and make sure you get on top right there. If you want to be safe and paint the entire thing, you can. Okay, we'll set these aside and let them dry. Next thing we're going to do is cut out our three yellow signs. Now we're going to glue those yellow signs that we just cut out onto the bottom of these. And then once we glue them on there, we may have to slightly trim them again. I'm hoping that they line up perfectly. Have to trim it a little bit. Now we just simply need to glue these on top and just make sure your edges line up perfectly. By the way, I'm using white Elmer's glue on this project. Someone recently asked me why I covered up the logo. <laughs> and the original sticker on here was completely cracking and the glue underneath made it really sticky and everything was sticking to it and it was getting really dirty and sticky and so um, I just simply wrapped some blue uh, duct tape around it. Um, someday I'll buy a new bottle but this works. <laughs> okay let's get some yellow paint and paint the bottom of this. And I'm using um, an acrylic paint from Ammo by MIG, and it's called Light Rust. And I'm mixing regular yellow with it. Okay, while we let our walls dry, we're going to paint our laser board pieces and most of them get painted with iced coffee or some shade of brown that matches your stained wall. And we're going to paint this piece also. It's the white task board. I cut out the pieces that stay the iced coffee color or your tan color. So hopefully you can see those in this little window. Now the rest of this uh, we're going to paint uh, the light buttermilk or an off-white. But some of it, let's see, this gets red to make it look like it's chipped paint. And same with these triangles here. So let's do that first. <laughs> I take that back. We're going to do the white first. That way, uh, if I do the red and I don't wash my brush good, it could turn my paint pink. Oh, I forgot that back door gets painted um, iced coffee. We'll paint that door quick. Okay, let's paint these triangle pieces. There's four of them. You have two small ones. 
this one and this one. And we're going to paint them with our red, our French wine. And we'll lightly drag our brush over it to give it a peeled paint look. And we'll paint our door red. Now we'll set this aside and, and go back to this piece. And we're going to cut out these small end pieces, the uh, triangles. Take your time, go really slow. It helps to have a brand new blade. Okay, there's another one. Now we're gonna cut out the big one. And let's cut out the front door frame. Again, go very slow so that you don't accidentally cut the frame. Okay, and cut out the door. This is the back door. Okay, we're done with that. Now, this part is a little tricky, but again, take your time. We're going to cut out those inner circles. So we need our inner triangles. I'm sorry. Uh, we need these pieces. Hopefully you can see that. I just cut out the center of it. We need those little triangle pieces. And this one has a window frame for the front door. So we'll cut that frame out and glue it onto that window. Okay, next we're going to take this triangle piece And we're going to glue it to the back side of the wall. And there's no front and back. It doesn't matter. Now we'll take this piece and glue that in the center. And we'll do the same with these. So take the little triangles and glue them onto the back. And then take your red triangles and glue them in the center. They don't have to be straight. Um, it really doesn't matter. There's no front or back to the pieces. <laughs> they just get glued on there so that when you glue in your red triangle, it doesn't fall through. Now we can glue on the trim. So I put glue on the back of it and then tap it with my finger. It kind of spreads it out. So I just glued the frame on this and actually our center support or uh, bracing should have went up higher, but that's okay. So make sure that you've got the top of your back wall because this is going to get put on top of it. And we'll cut a couple pieces. I'll make sure I put enough bracing in the kit so that you can brace this. Okay, I stained my corner trim and the corner trim in the kit is marked with green on the end of the wood. So I stained that um, and then used my light buttermilk and sponged over it. And now I'm going to cut it and glue it on the edges. I'll glue it on both ends of this wall and both ends of this wall. Next, we're going to glue on our door frame. Now we're going to take the off-white 
and paint the whole inside of the door frame. Ah, I forgot a step. This little shape here in the center, that gets painted yellow. So we will quick do that. We'll let that dry and then that gets glued in right at the top of the window there. I'm going to tone that yellow down just a little bit. I had still had some yellow in my brush and I dipped it in the uh, light buttermilk. Okay, there we go. We can go over this lower part a little bit. Okay, let's paint our plastic windows. We're first going to paint them with iced coffee. Okay, we don't need that piece. And we don't need that piece. This is dry now and we'll take our light buttermilk. While our windows dry, let's cut some acetate for our windows. So for this, we just need a long rectangle in the center. Okay, let's get some super glue. Notice it's not in the bottom section or the top section. Get your bottom lined up first. then press on the top. Now let's cut the acetate for our windows. This might be a little tricky. First we'll cut two rectangles and then just round the top of it. Okay, so I've got my two rectangles cut. I'm just lightly scoring where I need to cut it. Okay, that works. I'll show you up close. It's not even rounded. You know, I don't know why I'm using my super glue. <laughs> right here. This is what we want to be using. So I set it in there. And now I'll just go around the edges. Now, if you want, you can cut little window shades. Okay, next we're going to take our iced coffee and a sponge. Pick at it a little bit, make it uneven. Now, we're going to go over some of this clean trim <laughs> to make it look like the paint's chipping. Now, you don't have to do this step if you want it to look new and clean. I just went in with a fine brush and painted the inside of that window. So I don't know if you can see, but on the bottom and the sides, just to give it a clean look, just like I did on the uh, door frame. Okay, let's get our walls glued together. And we're gonna use the grid on our mat to make sure everything is nice and straight. Okay, let's get our walls for the uh, back structure painted black. <laughs> I don't know if anyone caught it, but I forgot to laser cut the window. So I had to take my knife and cut it out. A quick painting inside of that black. I'll have to remember to go back and cut that. Now these get glued to the back side. So let's do that. Now I'm going to take the iced coffee and paint the corners. 
Now let's paint the inside of the door frame. And we'll do the window. Now that will eventually get glued to the back side. And you can put it wherever you want. I'm going to put mine over to this side. But you could put it in the center, you could put it over here. So after I got my walls put together, I noticed that my yellow line didn't line up. I was one board off on each side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint one board white all the way around. So on the ends, I'm going to paint a red board. On the front, I'm painting a yellow board white. Now, I still have to do a white board across the back. And that looks like I do a yellow board. Okay, next we'll... Do the rooftop and the base. In the kit, you'll receive a wide strip of wood that's thin. So stain it and cut it to the length because we're going to make an awning that goes right over that window. So cut it to that exact length and then paint this white. I just took that same thickness of wood that we made that little awning out of and I put a shelf on the inside. Hopefully you can see it there. Okay, I cut all of my black construction paper, which comes in the kit, and I cut all of the strips three-eighths of an inch wide. Now we'll just simply start at the bottom and glue these all on and slightly overlap the next one, starting at the bottom and working your way up. Same with the back side. We'll start at the bottom, glue it down, and slightly overlap it, glue the next one, and the next one. I cut a whole bunch of pieces the exact uh, length that I need. Then I took two of them and cut them the exact shape of the cardboard. Now to cover these, you could either just simply paint them black or cut the same shape out of the black construction paper. If you cut this shape out of black construction paper, cut it slightly bigger, just scoring the center of it so it folds nice. Okay, first we'll glue it in place. Now we're going to mix up some black tar. And I just put a little bit of glue, white Elmer's glue, and some black paint. Okay, we're going to take some sandpaper and just rough up the uh, tar paper. Okay, on these peaks, let's cap it with, uh, we'll just put a strip on there. Alright, so I just took my knife and, or my blade, and picked at the edges a little bit to rough it up. Now we'll take light sand. No, let's see. Let's, let's use slate gray.
Now we'll take City Dark Dust. The kit comes with a little 3D printed smokestack. And we'll put that right there. We have to file that a little bit at an angle. I glued that in place with super glue and uh, we'll let that dry good and then I'll paint it um, like a rusty brown rust color. Next we're working on the sign. Now I spray painted the back with a gray primer. Then I painted the front of it white. I then painted the saucer yellow and then after it dried, I did a wash of the white over it to give it a faded look. I then took a sponge with bittersweet chocolate and went over it a little bit. Then I took, oh, it's like a medium rust color. And with a tiny brush, did some streaks going down of rust. And I sponged a little bit of the rust on the back too. Now I had to cut a space out on mine, but in the kit it will already be notched out of the roof. You can see. So we're simply going to glue this like that. And it fits right in between those notches on the roof. It fits right in there. I'll show you after I glue it. You may want to take a pencil. Okay. I'm just marking where I want that glue to go. Make sure that it's flat. You may want to bend it, kind of bow it a little bit. And just lower it down in there. We're going to brush off our extra glue. I did end up painting the back door blue. I don't know why, just to <laughs> give it a pop of color. So real quick, I cut some bracing for the back. And those will be provided in the kit. Now, we'll paint our base. So here's the base that it fits on. And this gets cut out and glued in the front. And this gets cut out and glued in the back. So we'll take our file. Okay, double check to make sure that Everything is exactly where you want it before that glue completely sets up and dries. Okay. Now we'll paint and weather this to look like concrete. Okay, I painted the foundation a gray color. And now we'll take some pigments. This is City Dark Dust. And we'll just add a little bit of dirt to it. Make sure you get a lot in the corners. Now we'll get this glued on. Let's take some winter soil and just add some dirty footprints. Well, as you can see, it found its new home on the layout. Now, if you remember from past videos, there used to be a root beer stand here. And uh, I have moved that now to the other side of the layout. Let me show you quick. Well, 
Well, I think this is a fun and unique build. Uh, I want to offer it to my Patreons at a discounted price. So if you are a Patreon, you can find the discount code on my Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Jason Jensen Trains. And that is for the second and third tier level. Uh, again, a big thank you to all of my Patreons. All right, well, if you'd like to buy this kit, again, it is at jasonjensentrains.com. Uh, you can purchase the kit and then follow along with the video and we can build it together. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed today's video and until next time, stay motivated and happy modeling, everyone.